Hello everyone, good morning. This is Sage and live from the Calkine studio in Sydney, you are watching The Early Trades. The S&P ASX 200 is lower today, dropping 65.90 points or 0.94 per cent. The bottom performing ASX stocks were Alumina, down by 7.27 per cent, and Linus Rare Earths, down by 7.15 per cent. Over the last five days, the index has lost 3.94% and sits 2.89% above its 52-week low. While sectors were mixed, 10 of 11 sectors are lower today, along with the S&P ASX 200 index. Financials is the best-performing sector, gaining 0.91% today and rebounding from its recent decline. This sector has been down 6.73% for the past five days. Now taking a look at some of the stocks making a buzz in the opening session of the ASX, let's start with the news coming in from the energy player AGL Energy. It has completed a technical assessment of the scope and duration of works needed to return Luoyang A Unit 2 to service. The unit initially went offline on 15th April 2022 following an electrical fault with the generator. Based on this review, AGL now expects the outage to extend until the second half of September, as opposed to earlier, 1st August 2022. The extension is driven by global supply chain issues and the availability of specialised materials. AGL stocks reacted negatively in the opening session of the ASX as its shares were trading at $8.64, Australian being down by 1.37%. Let's move on. Metal recycling group Sims announced that it executed a settlement for the shareholder class action filed against Sims on the 15th February 2019 in the New South Wales Registry of the Federal Court of Australia. It was brought on behalf of shareholders who acquired an interest in Sims ordinary shares from the 23rd of July 2014 to 19th February 2016. Sims will now have to pay $29.5 million under the settlement. Sims expects that following receipt of insurance proceeds, the net cost of the company will be approximately $15 million. The shares of Sims are trading down at $17.64 Australian, being down 4.39%. Toll Roads owner, operator and developer Atlas Arteria has rejected a request from IFM Global Infrastructure Fund investors and has decided not to provide non-public information at this time. However, the company has offered to provide IFM with the opportunity to meet with senior management to discuss selected topics based on publicly available information. Recently, Atlas Arteria announced that IFM had obtained approximately 15% of the issued securities of Atlas Arteria and disclosure of private information of the company. Atlas Arteria witnessed a downfall in the opening session of the ASX as it was, was trading at $8.12 Australian, down by 0.43%. And the last news today is coming from Air New Zealand. The airline expects its fiscal loss to be less than $750 million. It represents a $50 million improvement after forecasting a full year loss of less than $800 million in March. And following the New Zealand border reopening, the global airline reported high passenger booking activity on its short haul and international services. According to Air New Zealand, domestic demand rebounded with business related travel demand recovering to 90% of pre COVID levels. Near New Zealand was trading at 54 cents Australian, down by 3.21%. That's all for today in the early trades. Do stay tuned to Calcine TV as we have many more shows lined up for you across the economy, markets and sectors. Sage signing off for now.